Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to webpianoteacher.com. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the studio making lessons again. We hadn't made lessons in like two months because we were changing rooms, uh, building a whole new studio, a better studio. So even though it kind of looks the same, you know, we did a lot of painting, a lot of uh, putting up walls and tearing down things. We're finally here. <laughs> so let's get to doing a good lesson today. Uh, let's do a song by Redbone called Come and Get Your Love. Everyone's heard this song. I love it. Let's take a listen. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. All right. That's just a fun song to do, right? Guys, welcome to webpianoteacher.com, our online piano community where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to learn to play piano online. You can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. That's what I'm going to help you to do right now. So, all right, I got the camera changed. We're on the different side this time, so I got to get used to this. <laughs> all right, we're going to start here with our part one lesson. And we'll do the part one. The rest of the lessons for this series are only on my website, webpianoteacher.com. If you are a member, you can download the sheets for this as well as any other sheets on the website. I have like 7,000 lessons now. I've been doing this for almost 14 years, and I love every minute of it. Um, so let's get started with our part one, okay? As we look at the board, we see this little bass line. Dun, da, 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 ba, da, ba, ba, ba. So we'll start off with that. And uh, I'll start with my thumb. All right, so we have our D right here. Here's middle C, so we're down from that. Okay, D, D. Now, guys, this is not a beginner lesson. If you have a very beginner student, you need a very beginner lesson. I have lessons for you on the website. If you do my easy piano lesson series, it'll really give you that great foundation, that great start you need without making you frustrated and wanting to quit. <laughs> All right, so D. B, A. I'm going to use fingers two and three for that. D, B, A, D. We don't want to pedal this thing because it'll, it's just not going to sound good. We want to keep it separated that way. And then another B, A. So D, B, A, D, B, A. And then some more D, B, A. D, B, A, D, B, B, A. So a little bit of a bounce to it, right? Da, da. All right, little note on the pedal. Whenever you are playing something that's not really a piano piece, like it's just a band and you're trying and you're you're doing a piano reduction of it, you're just playing the notes that the instruments are, are playing in the band, you generally don't want to use a lot of pedal. That's a, a good rule for you. We can ruin a lot of good playing, good arrangements by bathing something in pedal, which we don't want to do. So it's always a good idea to not put any pedal in and then maybe put it in later. And that way you don't use too much and get attached to having so much pedal when you're playing. All right, back to the board. We're going to continue on now with this third measure. And we're just going to fill it out a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to add a D on my right hand, okay? I'm going to play that up here above middle C. And I'm just going to follow what the left hand did. D, B, A, D, B, A. D, B, A, D, D, B, A. See that? It's the same thing we did over here. Now, a little variation you could have on that is you could play it really low. You could go. And then add. You know, you could play it an octave lower. Or you could play it where we did. This is what I like to do. If you're able to play octaves, that's a, a good way to fill it out. Have your left hand play the octaves. If you're able to do that, if you're not proficient enough to do a lot of octaves yet, then don't worry about it. Uh, the parentheses is just for later on. You hear do, 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 do. another instrument does that, right? So F sharp, F sharp, E, D. So you can optional uh, put those notes in there if you want to. F sharp, F sharp, E, D. All right, and then. Uh, we'll get into the chords after that. One more time from the beginning, and go. One, two, three, four. One. Add the right hand. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that part one lesson. I like to take things in very small pieces 
And so this part one is a good way for you just to get started, to learn it, and then to go on to the part two, learn that, go on to the part three. Learn in little pieces. That's the best way to do things. A lot of times we quit not because we can't do something, but because we're trying to take on too much, kind of like we do in life sometimes, right? So only take on a little bit. Set yourself up for success. little tip for you that will take you a long way. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that part one lesson. See you on webpianoteacher.com.